eight incredible teams are coming to this stage and are going to compete today for five thousand dollars day one is all about seeding all about figuring out where these teams lie and then day two is all about elimination and getting that bag versus Syracuse and we are starting it off strong with a quick aerial contest off the kickoff. Yeah, and oh, right out of the gate, Mason Star 1 just going to take one up for Syracuse. Going to go in, we're going to see a nice save is going to come out from GMU, but just like that, Wade Nolan's on the goal, and Dev is going to find a nice long shot to even up this series. Syracuse and George Mason are giving us a run for our money. A demo will come out relatively quickly here from Mason Star. A shot comes out, the air dribble, and no, this is Patrick, not SpongeBob, and a point comes out for Syracuse. Possession, make sure that they're passing, make sure that the under what they're oh. doing and just like that titanium with the pass will get the score Syracuse to Syracuse doing a really good job right now keeping this defense up but no one's on the goal and there it is Joshua Squasher going to find another one they are not oh. deterred they are still <laughs> pushing forward and finally titanium will get the goal to tie things up can't continue their aggression yeah we are going to see that Jim is going to go in and just like that titanium going to help it to get in to get that upper hand and or upper wheel, if you will, and just be able to hold that defense. Definitely a player that you're gonna wanna keep your oh. eyes on, and there it is. Solar kicks things off for USC. No one's on the goal, it's there. Snipes. With a snipe of a shot is going to take this victory. Clemson is just barely going to make it out alive, but this is gorgeous, Alexander. Or, but wow, Clemson starting out strong, swing with Mitch and the demo. We're gonna start things off quick from Clemson. The ball, but it seems like they're, they're hitting each other a little bit more. That's a demolition derby, and oh, oh my gosh, oh. is there. And just like that, South Carolina goes up to one against Clemson, both in this game and in the entirety of the oh. series. Clemson here giving them a run for their money, taking them to game yeah. three. is a best of three series if you're just now joining us in already south carolina putting the pressure on all we've been one of the standout performers rotations are just perfect oh but as i say that northeastern comes right in frazier the top goal scorer yeah no i again i mean that's it's something that you said there oh but right away cats back at it again his second of the game that pressure that South Carolina has been known for as of thus far continuing. The ladder tries to catch Northeastern out. Pressure comes in and oh, Solar is there to put it away. He gets uh, his first notch of this series. Oh, beautifully done there to identify the back player and just leave it open. Nepo right away. South Carolina puts the pressure on and Solar attack. That is sub 30. That is two goals in the last, what, like 10 seconds. Stuff like this and just like that, Clemson starts off with a bang just 18 seconds into this game. They are boosted up, so they have the ability to keep up with the pace that Clemson has been setting, but it's just too much as Mitch, we see the hope for Coastal, and it's snatched away by Clemson. And I really love these rotations out of Coastal Carolina. They are a little bit closer to together, but that allows some opportunities, and there we go, Coastal with the pass. And that's what we're seeing, right? The double commit ensures that it doesn't go in, but heartless. Anytime I try to talk, 2-1 over Coastal. What a game, though, from both sides.
players. We're going to see the rest of UNC Charlotte's going to go in for a shot. And Driptane is going to make one nice and easy. And that's going to have it for Wilmington being up in the lead. And not going to be able to contest that ball as it is going to get dribbled right above their head. Goes in. And just like that, laziness is going to find the touch. And now UNC Charlotte looking to secure this match number two. Needs to take every advantage approach as they can. But no one's on the goal. No one's on the goal. And Form going to be able to find that shot and hope for the best on a kickoff. But as we approach OT here and Driptane will secure this victory for UNCW. Here it is. This is the final seedings for both Group A and Group B. This will help determine what happens tomorrow in that double elimination. Since we're here in a restaurant, a very unique <laughs> venue, I like to think about day one as the appetizer. We're starting to see these players heat up. We're starting to see some sick plays. And then day two today, that's the entree. That's the main course. We're moving from best of threes into best of fives and double elimination. So it's no longer just a group standing. It is just a double elimination bracket. So we're going to see so much action. And uh, this is where we start seeing some teams go home. Already, so let's get into the first matchup of the day. GMU versus Coastal Carolina. It should be a good one to kick things off. It's towards Coastal Carolina as the shot will go in, but Dev can't quite find it. The pressure stays on. No one's on the goal. Josh Squasher finds it. And just like that, GMU five up in game number one. This game number two is going to start up. And just like that, seven seconds in, Titanium is going to be that hard metal that he is and is going to find a nice shot. Yeah, as well as just starting out in day two as well. It, it, it's just so difficult for anyone to stop, you know, GMU and what they're doing. Hop into game one of Clemson versus Syracuse. The players are flying. Gavilon is flying into the net. And Syracuse will find their second of the day. They just can't take advantage of when they have the advantage. And now there's no one at the net. Oh, oh just like that. No, this is Patrick will start things off for Syracuse. Full side the entire time. And finally, Syracuse breaks through this wall that was Clemson. Gavilon credited with this score. Past two defenders. They just oh. quite couldn't get there in time. It was just Syracuse attacking over and over and oh. over again. But Snipes coming in with a score for Clemson. That is what they needed to get back into this game, to get back into this series. See there as Gavilon, our first time Lanimal, will be making another shot on the Clemson. Clemson takes advantage of that, and no one is there to catch that rotation. Yeah, and you know, this is a lot of a closer matchup than we've seen in the past, but no, this is Patrick going to find a nice shot to bring Syracuse back. Wins out 3-0, and I would say, in a very convincing fashion. UNCW, UNCC, the two North Carolina schools will be competing and one of them will be sent home. Basically a coin flip at that point. Oh, Driptane, able to find that shot. Wilmington is the first to strike in this <gasps> no. one. And Coolio, what a goal. Oh. And then it's Speedy sending it through. UNC Charlotte takes game number one. Opportunities that are really allowing them to take advantage of laziness yet again. Not being lazy on the ball. Capitalizes there now. 4-0 for UNC Charlotte. As laziness going to go in the pass to Coolio and right into the goal. UNC Charlotte 5-0 against Wilmington in match number two. Shots coming out left and right. No one wanted to make a mistake. UNC Wilmington needs to try oh. to find some offense with Speedy. Oh my goodness, what a great shot. Defense 
heavily against the UNC Charlotte, who is just absolutely covering oh. them. And there it is, laziness trying to add a nail into that coffin of you, our North Carolina competitors. And one of them has come out on top. Your kings of North Carolina, everybody. The University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Did such a great job, but oh, as Shot Guy opens it up for Northeastern, gets a 1 0 lead early, is incredibly interesting to see as an early goal goes out there for Northeastern right away, right? And, and, and I, I really like this approach from both teams. I mean, as we see the demo go out and Solar puts it in, unbelievable shot there by the veteran. Rolls right on through all of them, put it away. You're talking about the rotations, and that's, a, that's one where they just get caught out. A little bit of an unlucky bounce there in the midfield. The Northeastern looks so easy, man. And it's not, it's especially in this environment, man. It is incredibly difficult as Solar puts it away. Gives South Carolina a two goal lead here. Yeah, yeah, pretty incredible. But Solar here now trying to take advantage. And it goes right in. What a goal. Mid air, Og onto Frazier. So as Carolina now trying to make something happen. Ball going a little bit awry here for Northeastern. South Carolina trying to get a shot on goal. And they do that. Solar from near midfield there snipes it into the top corner. But Og gets the clearance, gets the save here and now the pressure on cats trying to put it forward and that is going to do it south carolina sends northeastern to the losers bracket or at least the winner side of bracket it's tough to do i mean the pressure from south carolina has been ramped up again this entire tour but the northeastern is not done this point here, right? Because now they're playing with a sense of urgency. So shot comes from across the map, and that is two quick snipes goals. Neither has got to really try and get themselves together. Now three minutes in, Heartless makes it a quick 3-1. Clemson now starting to roll. Who demos? He is on demon mode right now, terrorizing the Clemson backline. This is an opportunity for Northeastern. Let's see if they get the touch, and they do. Yellow again. Great positioning, and that is absolutely what they needed this time. At least in the back line, very, very reliable for Clemson. Unless for a dress, something to say about a goal bounce shot there by Mitch. Shot guy, great aerial way to get up to that thing again at its highest point. They make a great connection there where nobody on Clemson would have been able to make that save. The series so far for the side of Clemson is that Northeastern is just there oh! as we see Shotgun. What a goal by Shotgun. Burke Eastern so far early is putting a lot of pressure on in a great setup there by Shotgun for Yellow. Absolutely rabid shot there by Yellow. Tries to put it on. There isn't anything. Frazier, look at him go. Gets the mid-air demo. It puts it away. What control by Frazier. Go back as we do see a few shots on goal wow. by Frazier. Yeah, close. And a great touch there by Shot Guy. Flies in out of nowhere. Luffy just came out and pushed. Oh my goodness, beautifully done by Clemson. Not hurt up here. Both teams are going crazy, but now leaving themselves a little vulnerable at the back. And oh. that is going to be across the map for Yellow. Great performance there, guys. Uh, Bear, I mean, I know that these are your guys. You're looking down on them with pride in your eyes. Great showing. <laughs> Close goal there, and Titanium will find it. George Mason gonna start one up against South Carolina. GMU and South Carolina are really just battling it out to take this next goal. GMU is doing a good job looking for this shot, and there it is with Joshua Squash goal. But GMU is always getting to South Carolina's ball on the offense oh and my through goodness. the defense. Aug is gonna find a nice shot and put South Carolina on the board. If you're either team, honestly, I think you just want to go into an overtime here. Oh. And oh, Solar with one second left. Okay, I'll be able to take not just one, but two maps off of GMU here. GMU going to get aggressive once more. And the passing game from GMU is great, but off the other side of the field, Cats is going to find another one for South Carolina. 
GMU still on that grind. Ooh. They're trying to get back in Titanium. We'll put another one on the board up for GMU. Because GMU, they're now starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, especially after that shot. I guess if you have one second left, it doesn't matter. So we are going to see that South Carolina, though, not going to be able to defend this score from Dev. And this is the winner's <laughs> finals. <laughs> yeah, and Dev will take that first score for GMU. 15 seconds before we reach this halfway point, and South Carolina now needs to even that score back up. So many questions, and I don't know if we'll find the answers just yet as Dev up in the air. Going to pass it down to Josh Squasher. The goal. There's an open net, and Josh Squasher credited with that goal. GMU up 2-0. And there we go. GMU wins out game five, but oh boy, was it close. We are hopping into game number one of Northeastern versus the University of South Carolina. Way into this game without a goal, which shows how good the defenses are for both of these sides and why they are here oh. at this exact moment. And Katz is going to put that one in the back of the net. Well, right off the kickoff, going for the attempt. It doesn't matter, though. It won't go in, and Northeastern trying to start their own attack. They do get the demo. The net is open, and just like that, Shakai ties it back up. Northeastern is still in this. To adjust to George Mason when they did. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, and Northeastern says, we don't have to wait anymore. We want the win on match number one. What a weird, strange kickoff. We've been talking about how well that South Carolina's kickoffs have been, but that one was a little weird. It doesn't matter. They don't need it because Solar is there to finish it off, preventing any sort of more aggression or goal from Northeastern. And Yellow puts it in the back of the net at 420 exactly. Yellow top score for a reason. What a finish that is. Compared to some of the other matches where we saw three yeah. second goals, seven second goals, it's not the same. Aug is going to make it by. Did they just need to score one goal and they're scoring? Yeah, and speaking of scoring goals, we're going to see Aug. Once again, that's exactly what they're doing. They can play keep away for all they care. They just need to prevent, but there it is. Og will find it. The demo in the back. Og gets past the one defender, and just like that, it's tied up with 17 seconds remaining. And now, going for the demos, and now they're trying to get the goal, but Frazier sees right through the game plan. One minute in, Northeastern says, we're not done yet. We're heading into game number five. A little bit richer, but still a little bit sadder as well. Yeah, they definitely do, Alex. And an early shot by Fraser, South Carolina. A rare defensive error right there. And just like that, Northeastern strikes first on Champions Field. Looking like it's them. 2-1 right now, a minute and 50 seconds remaining. Still plenty of time in this one, Alex. And one thing I am noticing, Northeastern is trying to get them off their spot, but Og with the dunk right there evens things up with 145 left we're right back to square one alex we get his teammate open solo with the shot cats is there and just like that south carolina from out of nowhere leads three to two with 134 left in this game five and you have to be so careful to not make a mistake if you're northeastern because they will punish you just like that solar with the goal south carolina up by two and into the back of south carolina's net because Oh, you have to be careful, and that's an opening there, right there off of the kickoff. Northeastern is one step closer to tying this game up. Absolutely, oh my gosh, Northeastern once more gets the better of the kickoff, passes it to Frazier, who has an opportunity. No. The save oh. is there, but the goal is even better. Yellow is there to finish it up. We're all tied up four to four. The series has really paved the way for this team, and no, Cat's trying to say we're not done it out yet. Back and forth between these teams. We're right back to square one, Alex. They know what's on the, on the line. They know what's on stake here. And they're still what going. Save. The shot, it's not good. It's But stopped. the shot, Frazier puts it in the back of the net for Northeastern. Northeastern crawling their way through the loser side of things, redeeming themselves here and now winning out in game five against South Carolina.
Get ourselves a drum roll as we get into the grand finals of GMU Northeastern. Bringing it home, going like crazy. You mentioned it before, the demolition derby. But Titanium going to start this one strong. Find a nice point to start off for George Mason. Of course, you might notice something very interesting about GMU, and that's that they have another goal on the board very, very quickly, two to one instantaneously. And just like that, one even series, one match away, and this is what you want to see in a grand finals. Let's get loud, let's get hyped. Again, Frazier somehow off the top is able to score once more. Ryan, you're a little too pumped about this. <laughs> Perfectly even, zero to zero, one to one, Northeastern GMU, and Shot Guy is going to find a nice dunk and splash and Myrtle Beach as we're going in the ocean. Back already ready to defend. Fraser going to throw that ball straight back down as George Mason is going to look to try to get it in here. A nice save comes out from Yellow, but no one else is on the goal. And Titanium will even this one up with four minutes and 21 seconds left. Northeastern going to be returning the favor and is going to be looking to get hits of their own onto this goal, onto this next shot. Fraser is going to hit it up, maybe look for a pass here, but Dev will turn it in. Yellow ready to go. No one's on the goal and Yellow making another one. Going to be looking in to find that goal. This is where GMU needs to change their, their tactic a little bit, get a little bit more aggressive here, and that's what Dev needs. And Dev is going to find a nice shot. GMU is going to take this lead early. This is what we needed to see. This is what I wanted to see out of GMU coming in to this next game, and that's basically seeing GMU get more aggressive, and Dev once again going for another, the double dip up 2-0 against Northeastern right now. GMU, they're just wasting time now. They just need the clock to run out, and they just need to keep it away from Northeastern. Another good shot, but again, it, it's not about scoring. Oh, what a shot! It's not about scoring, but Titanium does want to make it about scoring. That is one of the biggest strengths with their team. But Fraser will be able to even this up 30 seconds in. I mean, a little bit of deja vu with match number one here, Alex. Just putting themselves into full throttle. Oh, oh my gosh, Northeastern winning that kickoff. They had an opportunity. It will just barely be knocked away. Wow. And Joshua Squash is going to find it. Really, I'm just guessing here. But Northeastern will start to bring this offensive side back to their lead here, GMU. Still trying to get this goal. Both these teams looking for a goal, and no one's on the side of Northeastern to defend. And Titanium will find a shot, and GMU will be up one in this series. Once before, now you need to adapt to GMU's oh adaptation, but no one's on goodness. the goal. Once again, and oh GMU. My. Dev, who was locked in. You cannot give Dev that free space because he will run away with it. But this is what we're seeing here. Titanium goes high, Joshua goes low, and like that, GMU scores. Once again, 5-0, 2 minutes and 19 seconds. This game is running away from Northeastern, and this is what it has all culminated up to. GMU are your boost on the beach champions. And just like that, GMU, the pop-off, they deserve it. They are going wild. Thank you all so much. Whether you may have been paying attention or not enjoying your night, we appreciate you all so much online as well as being here in person at the world famous hangout it's been fantastic we are a group from shenandoah university um, and we were able to come down here on behalf of visit myrtle beach and the graciousness of our host the hangout please give them a huge hand for us They've been absolutely fantastic having to deal with our shenanigans and getting everything put up and taken down. Um, the servers, everybody, they've been, all been incredible. But without further ado, we want to give a huge shout out and I want to bring up the team right now that won it all, George Mason University. Get on up here, fellas. <laughs> fellas, congratulations, congratulations. My dude, Titanium, congratulations, team. Appreciate you guys. This is for you all. Guys, y'all dominated the entire time. You came down from Virginia, staked your claim, got the number one seed, and rode it out the entire time. That trophy is very well deserved, but what is even more well deserved is the 3K that's going in the bank account, guys. Congratulations again. We appreciate you all very much. We're looking forward to seeing what you guys do in the future.